The expansion of renewable energy forms is progressing rapidly. New wind turbines and solar plants with a capacity of over 250 gigawatts were installed around the world in 2020. Yet, electricity from wind and sun is dependent on the weather, the season, and also not available around the clock. In order to compensate for fluctuations and peak loads, storage technologies are of great importance. They store surplus electricity and feed it into the grid when needed. The greater the share of electricity from renewables, the more demand there is for efficient ways to store electricity temporarily. One particularly exciting and sustainable option for this is to reuse discarded e-car batteries as energy storage units, thus giving them a second life. One idea with future potential? The EU Commission assumes that by 2030 there will be 30 million e-cars on the road across the EU and with them will also come millions of electrical vehicle batteries. But what happens to these batteries when the vehicles reach the end of their lifespan? At the end of their automotive life cycle, the batteries of many discarded e-cars can still store large amounts of energy. This means they are still too good to be recycled, especially as this is very costly. We at RWE are investigating how these batteries can be reused. The storage capacity of a battery reduces with each recharging cycle. The same applies to electrical vehicle batteries. The more frequently they are charged, the lower their capacity. Modern batteries, however, are designed in such a way that they can easily last the life of a vehicle, and often much longer. The remaining power can be used, for example, to compensate for fluctuations in the electricity grid. Therefore, RWE is working on various projects to integrate so-called second-life batteries. The ECA batteries used today can initially store up to 100 kilowatt hours of electricity. At the end of their life cycle in the ECA, they often still have a capacity of up to 80 percent. That is 80 kilowatt hours. This makes them perfectly suited for use in other storage solutions. This is a huge opportunity because energy storage systems are becoming increasingly important in the course of the energy transition. They can help stabilize fluctuating energy production from renewable sources such as wind and sun. Against this background, the use of Second Life batteries offers several advantages. Second Life batteries will be available in large quantities in the future. They are significantly cheaper than new battery cells. The use can be used for up to 10 years. Their reuse conserves natural resources of raw materials such as nickel, cobalt and lithium. And their CO2 footprint is spread over many more years and charging cycles. As a result, Second Life batteries are helping to drive forward the energy transition and at the same time are making an important contribution to the recycling economy. This form of continued use is still in its infancy. The number of discarded batteries is still too small. Yet, RWE is already working on bringing Second Life technologies up to market maturity as quickly as possible. RWE is working intensively on the reuse of electrical vehicle batteries in energy storage systems, currently, for example, in a project in Hertike. Together with partners from the automotive industry, Second Life batteries are being tested there in commercial operation. For this purpose, an energy storage system made from used e-car batteries is connected to the power grid. If there is more demand for electricity than is available in the grid, the energy storage system can step in and provide energy. We are here on the site of RWE Pumped Storage Power Plant on Lake Hengstai in Herdecke. Since 2018, RWE Generation has been operating a battery storage facility here with 552 lithium-ion modules. This battery storage system is now getting company. Because as part of the Lazarus project, we have just built another energy storage system here, this time based on Second Life batteries from the automotive sector. We have housed the battery modules in a separate hall. We have placed two battery blocks in a solid foundation. We connect these modules in series in an innovative way. This allows the prototype to store up to 4.6 megawatt hours of direct current. With our Lazarus project, we want to shed more light on important aspects for commercial use and learn more about the technology. We are particularly interested in finding out how several modules can be optimally combined in large-scale applications, how long the service life of such battery cells is in a network, 
and how the use of battery storage can be managed as efficiently as possible. We are even testing the use of artificial intelligence. We are already looking forward to the first results. Second Life batteries therefore strengthen the recycling economy and they help to further reduce the environmental cost of every kilometer driven with an e-car. Above all, however, they help in the transition to a reliable power generation with renewable energies. The Second Life battery storage in Herdecke is one of many projects that RWE is pushing ahead with in the USA, Germany and Ireland. At the same time, the company is already working on other innovative projects, such as redox flow batteries, or battery storage systems that are virtually coupled with hydroelectric power plants. With one common goal, to further develop and expand important battery storage technologies. RWE is already involved in more than 10 battery projects with 600 megawatts of capacity. By 2030, the company will have increased its capacity to 3 gigawatts, ensuring that the energy turnaround succeeds.